Welcome to Savita University Lecture Cast in General Pathology. Today's discussion we will be dealing about the prototype of autoimmune diseases, the systemic lupus erythematosus. One of the prominent personalities affected by systemic lupus erythematosus is singer Seal of Fame, Kiss from a Rose, for which he got an uh, Grammy Award. You would remember that from the Batman Forever movie. Systemic lupus erythematosus is a multi-system disease of autoimmune origin which is described as an acute or insidious disease in its onset. It's a chronic, remitting and relapsing, often febrile illness characterized principally by injury to the skin, joints, kidney and serocell membranes. It has a vast spectrum of autoantibodies, prominent among them being anti-nuclear antibodies. The American College of Rheumatology has established 11 criteria of which 4 or more should be fulfilled for the diagnosis of SLE to be made. Uh, SOAPRAIN MD is an acronym used, for, used to remember the uh, criteria. S stands for cirrhositis, heart, lung and peritoneum, O for oral ulcers, painless usually on the roof or back of the mouth, A for arthritis, P for photosensitivity, B for blood disorders, R for renal involvement in which you will see proteinuria with or without gas, A for ANA titer which should be more than 1 is to 160 and I for immunologic phenomena such as anti-double-stranded DNA antibodies, anti-Smith antibodies, anti-phospholipid antibodies all of which are specific for diagnosing lupus, N for neurological disorders, M, M for mala butterfly rash and D for discoid skin lesions. As already said, the spectrum of autoantibodies in SLE includes antibodies to DNA, histones, non-histone proteins bound to RNA and nucleolar antigens and these are found by indirect immunofluorescence. The etiological Factors of SLE are environmental factors, genetic factors and immunologic factors. The morphologic changes the morphologic changes ascribed to the immune complex deposition around vessels in the kidneys and other organs would be fibrinoid deposits near the blood vessel walls resulting in vasculitis and arthritis, glomerulonephritis in the kidneys and mala butterfly rash followed by non-erosive synovitis of the joints which is uh, which has little deformity differentiating it from rheumatoid arthritis neuropsychiatric symptoms ascribed to acute vasculitis in the CVS you can have pericarditis myocarditis and valvular involvement followed by other organ involvement such as splenomegaly in lungs we can have pleuritis and pleural effusion and deposition of LE cell or the hematoxylin body will be found in other organs which is very characteristic of lupus the LE cell is actually a neutrophil which has engulfed the denatured material of another neutrophil or macrophage and which appears as a hematoxylin body inside the neutrophil. It is indicated by the, the diffuse material is indicated by the red arrow. The oral changes would be lichenoid changes in either the palate or other areas of the oral cavity and if it involves the lips it is called as lupus chelitis. The histopathologically we would see an atrophic epithelium with basal vacuolar damage, follicular plugging in the epithelium and intense lymphocytic infiltrate surrounding the blood vessels causing the vasculitis. Treatment for this disease is usually corticosteroids and other immunosuppressants and associated mortality would be renal failure and intercurrent infections. With that, we end SLE. Thank you.